What's up guys and thank for joining for this video and this is just a video that I'm gonna just do a little bit of talking and a little bit, a bit, little bit of chill and uh, basically a bit on the legacy side today and um, we're just gonna talk about the snow warning Aurora's. So as you guys know Aurora's is now a Pokemon that's pretty much famous for having one of those awkward and very, very bad typing really. It is famous for its four times weakness to fighting and steal and having a lot of common counters. So, as far as we can get it, yes, uh, Aurora is not a good defensive Pokemon. Look at its stats. We got a pretty good things going. It's definitely, its stats is definitely very impressive. A bit on the slow side, but having a lot of bulk to it and a lot of HP. And it could definitely do some damage with that special attack. But its speed is lacking. And uh, as overall, it's rolled, it's just, it's very, very unused. Um, so underused is not a, even a definition of it. But the thing that stands out and the thing that is worth talking about is, of course, that Snow Warning is now the only real ability or um, a weather condition that can be used in the lower tiers. Yes, we got heap of hopes for... Um, of course, the Sandstream, but that requires Eviolite. Aurorus is a fully evolved Pokemon and quite a bulk one at that, that can utilize Snow Warning. Hail is not that famous, I know. It, it's definitely the worst of the four weather conditions, but it has a few perks. And the first major perk that is worth talking about is... Blizzard. People, we can use Blizzard freely now. And the first Pokemon that comes to mind that is worth mentioning uh, when we're doing that, it's actually Rotom Freeze. Think about this for a minute. Um, just gonna scroll there. Yeah, being very prepared here. Rotom is semi famous for having uh, issues. Like, really, really having issues with uh, what we can call the hits. But with, of course, this new ability, we can actually brutalize a Pokemon with Blizzard and. Rotom is actually quite fast in its current form, and with specs it definitely can possess a threat. Its special attack is quite high too, and it got defenses to keep itself alive. And Rotom, like I said, it's one of those Pokemon that is very underused due to its, um, its typing being quite bad, and its main stab, Blizzard, and I think it's the, its only stab, is very lacklustering, but now it's, it's dangerous. It's, you don't have to worry about Blizzard anymore, which means that accuracy is no longer an issue. Um, and Aurora's main property is now going to be to be a bit more on the bulky side, maybe Star Fox, and definitely coming in, setting up Hail. And then we got the other things that are worth mentioning, and that is Ice Body. What is Ice Body? It is the condition that is very much like Toxic Heal. It recovers 1 6, if I remember correctly, or yeah, 1 16th of your HP. Well, that isn't, you know, a lot. It isn't 1 8 like. Um, <laughs> like uh, Poison Heal, it still makes sure that a few Pokemon turns a bit more uglier. Definitely, I think about Avalog first off. Avalog is one of those Pokemon that got a lot of HP going. Think about HP, Leftovers, and Curse. This thing could not get more sturdy than it is. Uh, highly recommend that. And then we got every Pokemon like the Glaceon and Red Eyes, hopefully in the future, with his Ice Body. Glaceon is one of those Pokemon that is super super defensive, it lacked HP, but with Ice Body, it can now brutalize with Blizzard, you can go with Shadow Ball, you can protect to heal up with Leftovers and the Ice Body, like I said there, and um, this Pokemon is just, it is a new ball game for it, and being that it is in lower tier makes that damage much more prominent, highly recommended, I definitely recommend that, and then we got just the rest of them, really, Wall Rain, for the same reason, Fix that is a good ability, Ice Body is just one of those abilities that you really want to use. And uh, Vanillux can also learn that if you don't want to go weak armor, then Ice Body is definitely a good choice. And yeah, there's where it all ends. Potential teammates is something worth mentioning. And um, Fire Types, always nice. And if something that is levitating, always nice. I definitely... If you can sign a team against or around Aurora's, you definitely need to think about... Uh, well, you have to think about that they should survive the hail too, and preferably, like I said, having ability that benefits from it rather than forcing yourself to using a highest type for the wrong reasons 
it's the better choice. I really like the idea of uh, um, brutalizing with Blizzard, and um, I'm going to try to work this stuff out. Um, sadly, like it's uh, or not like its bigger brother Tarantrum, it doesn't get a unique ability for its lesser evolution, like it got sturdy for uh, for the tyrant, but it's still snow one is canonized and uh, it is residual damage and it can really shut down Pokemon that are stalwart in this synthesized morning sun or the moonlight because when the hail is up you get one fourth of your HP so that is also something to keep in mind so it's a strategic smart move to have it uh, I highly recommend you guys think about something to use with this Pokemon and remember there are a lot of ice Pokemon that can be now used a bit better if you decide to use them like for example jinx yeah i just said that but really try out this pokemon and just try out and test yourself out i'll give you guys a few ideas uh on how to work this thing out and i hope it works i'm going to try this one on my own and um yeah we're definitely gonna see this on my stream and remember stealth rocks make a defensive auroras it's going to do you guys good and uh yeah, if you have any other ideas, make sure to leave those ideas on the comment section below. And I see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.